Happy Hump Day Crypto and Web3 fans. In today's amazing video, we're going to talk about Ripple halting their IPO plans because of an SEC crackdown. We're going to look at what's happening to Coinbase to give us the info. And XRPL's got some building. This utility, will it bring some price action to the market? Speaking of price action, we'll talk XRP price at the end along with record breaking ETF volume that I have to share with you. Starting it off with your comments, you matter most. Maxim4757, Crypto Geek is full of fake news and a lot of bullshit. Well, let me ask you a question. In YouTube, do you get paid for people viewing your video or not? See, the reason Crypto Geek publishes so much bullshit is because bullshit gets more views than real news. And no, I don't live in an echo chamber. Can Do Digit says, this guy is a clown. Can't wait to come back and roast this dude. Excellent clown. I mean, Klaus, dude. Klaus the clown? Like, seriously? Like, guys, I'm like 43. I have heard everything right now. And if you want to roast me regarding XLM price, you better hope the price gets higher than 11.7 because it's going to be me roasting you. Bitcoin's in at 42575 XLM Army is a bunch of pussies. 25.43 is the price of ETH. XRP under 57 cents. Are you buying the dip, by the way? Soul above the 100 mark in ETH. The play is still alive. Let's get to some ETF news. BTC's ETF erupted with insane volume, three times greater than all 500 ETFs launched. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that into perspective. All 500 ETFs launched in 2023 were eclipsed by the BTC ETF volume. Let me pull to, into context how insane 10 billion in volume is in the first three days, said Eric Falchunas. There were 500 ETFs launched in 2023. Today, they did a combined volume of 450 million. Yet, most of these BTCs ETF are doing even more volume than the entire ETF market. So there's obviously some massive demand for crypto out there. You want boom bullish news? How about that the ETFs are garnering a lot of support? Is that support leading to price action? No, but it's garnering a lot of support. All right. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse slams U.S. listing after Coinbase post IPO mess. All right, here's the deal with Coinbase and with Ripple, and this is why people are pissed, okay? Garlinghouse highlighted the challenges faced by companies like Coinbase, which had filed its S1 prospectus detailing the company's business operations and financials before an IPO. That was approved. Now, it was approved, and then the SEC went after them later, and what Garlinghouse is saying is, look, if you're approving these S1s, then how are you going after them for the same stuff that you approved them for? It makes no sense. The Ripple CEO described the current SEC Chair Gensler as a political liability. Do you think he's a political liability? Because I personally think that the Democrats love the guy. A political liability would mean that he's hurting votes for the Democrats. And I'll be honest with you. The Democrats weren't pro-crypto to begin with. So is he really hurting votes? No. Okay. But the deal is this, Coinbase filed that S1 and they're like, look, we're happy, we filed it, we should be in the clear. Since then, the SEC has bent them over and taken them from behind. Ripple partner SBI Holdings plans an NFT rollout on XRP Ledger. Should I care about in this hand? NFTs in this hand. Guess what? They both look the same because don't give a shit. If you care about NFTs, comment down below and I will probably apologize. Ripple halts IPO plan to the SEC crackdown, XRP price lackluster. Okay, now, I want to share this with you, okay, because this is what Garlinghouse said, all right? And he said this in Davos. Back in 2022, Garlinghouse said the firm was exploring a public listing after the lawsuit. Now, that lawsuit would expire in 2024 when we decide the penalties for primary sales. The courtroom tussles are still ongoing, and those plans have been stymied. In the United States, trying to go public with a very hostile regulator that's approved your S1 doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. Seriously, imagine this. Imagine you want to go have some fun. Guys Weekend. So you provide your wife with a list of everything you're going to do on Guys Weekend. We're going to go to Vegas. We're going to watch the fight. We're going to gamble. We're going to look at some jumblies. And your wife is like, you know what? I see this. I see the people you're working with and I approve. And you're like, fuck yeah, man, let's go to Vegas. So we go to Vegas and we're hanging out. We're on the strip. We're making it rain at the club and we're doing some gambling, a little roulette action. If you have any gambling problems, make sure you seek help. I am not promoting gambling. 
So we're doing all that. Then we come home from Vegas and our wife is like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, who, who are you with? These people you were with, they were bad. Wait a minute. You were gambling in Vegas? Whoa, you were looking at big jumblies in Vegas? I, I, no, this is not right. I don't approve of this. But you're like, but, but honey, I showed you my, what I wanted to do in Vegas. And she's like, don't care. Dude, that's Gary Gensler right now. Coinbase files their S1. They get wrecked by the SEC lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. Garlinghouse is like, yo, why the would I file an S1 in the United States only to find out that they're going to come after me for the shit I put in the S1? Brad, you got a good point, my man. All right. 56.8 is the price action of XRP. This ETF pump action near the beginning of the month obviously didn't last. Got us up to 62 cents. We're sitting at 56.8 right now. Obviously not getting any Davos pump action. Obviously not getting any IPO pump action, especially when the CEO is out there saying, yeah, let's put our plans on hold because I don't feel like going through S1 misleading BS. So now we have to start asking ourselves, okay, okay, where can we start getting more juicy action? Well, right here, that's the Fed's next decision. What if they lower rates? Yeah, could you imagine what would happen in the market if the Fed lowers rates? And here's the key. It's not just the U.S. central banks and Fed. We're talking about global central banks take nods from the Fed. So if the Fed lowers a quarter, there's a whole bunch of central banks out there in the globe. They're like, yo, we're doing it too. So guess what, everyone? Just a couple weeks away, we may have more pump action. And let's not forget... Seoul is making another move, and Seoul carried the market for a good chunk of time. So Seoul above 100, do we have another run there? ETH running to three, potentially? Big stuff, everyone. I've heard it all. Santa Claus, Klaus the Clown, Klaus Barbie, for those of you history experts out there. But the reality is, is you can call me a clown all you want. The price is the price, and the news is the news. Now, they're crypto geek outlets. Yeah, of course they want to lie to you. Doesn't it sound more fun to read a video about how you could potentially become a millionaire rather than my videos where you're like, hey, look, this is really what's happening. This is realistic expectations. This is really what's going on in the world. And no, you're not going to be a millionaire. But see, I'm doing okay telling the truth. Actually, I'm doing way better than okay telling the truth. I can go to sleep at night knowing that I'm not screwing you over for views. So yes, the channel grows slowly, but I grow slowly telling real news. And I know in this world that real news is boring. I need to be more of a sensationalist to garner the views. <sighs> Whatever. The reality is, though, is Garling House is like, dude, the United States is a mess. Gensler is not a political liability because the political party that put him into play is still in control and they're like yo we like you gary g so he's not a liability nft is getting launched in xrpl don't really give much of a shit what the utility is nfts have been a big nothing burger right there was a big pump a couple years ago hasn't done much in fact even lightman the stellar nft platform yeah they're not sharing their stats anymore regarding what their monthly sales are their monthly sales sucked ass yeah, no one's really into the whole NFT thing. Another pump and dump within crypto. What am I doing today? Probably training. I've got an ultra marathon last man standing coming up, and I still can't run, walk more than two miles at a time. So how the hell am I going to do 70, 50 plus miles? I don't know. I'll figure it out in the next eight, eight weeks. But I'm going to chill out. Get your cool cats. Later.